middleweight championship, please welcome into the ring the challenger from Minsk in Belarus, Sergei Komitsky. Sergei Komitsky, who has been a professional fighter since 1999. He's had Career total of 258 rounds. He is one tough guy. Usually gives everybody a pretty good test. Pushed Martin Murray close back in November. Admittedly, not a peak Martin Murray. He's fans in fine voice. Controlled and calculated. Wise guy, they call him, and that could well be wise tactics. Certainly, one occasion when he will not just be relying on. Brute power. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Warren for Queensbury Promotions, sponsored by Raynham Steel, proudly presents 10 three minute rounds for the WBO European Super Middleweight Championship, live and exclusive on Box Nation from the Copper Box Arena here at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London. Your officials are appointed by the WBO. Your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Jeff Hines of Reading, England, Mr. Michael Liu of Romania, and Mr. Dave Ferris of Leeds, England. Your WBO supervisor in charge this evening is John Handler. Your British Boxing Board of Control steward in charge is Mick Collier. Your timekeeper, the bell, is Bob Edgeworth, and when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Michael Hook of Sweden. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner stands the challenger. He brings with him a record of 28 wins, 10 losses, two draws with 11 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scouted 11 stone, 13 pounds, one ounce, and tonight wears the black and red shorts Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Minsk, Belarus, Sergei Komitsky. And across the ring in the blue corner stands the champion. His unbeaten record reads 12 wins with nine KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 11 stone, 13 pounds, six ounces, and tonight wears the white shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, Presenting and introducing from Enfield, England, the WBO 
European super middleweight champion, the white guy, Frank Bulione. Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Well, this is going to be interesting, Barry. What sort of tactics is he going to employ against one of the genuine hard men of the sport? From Buglione, that's what he needs to do. Work behind the jab. He's a naturally bigger man, and he started off doing just that. Height and reach advantage. His dad is ever sitting at ringside. Real close to the father and son relationship. He used to work as a building surveyor, Frank, before he uh, progressed as a boxer, full time in the fight game now, of course. Good from Frank Bugliani, just keep him, keep him committed to get the end of that jab, that's what he wants, he don't want him close. Quiet opening to the fight, as you suspected. Bulioni just trying to keep it long and just have a look at Kamitsky. Can punch a bit as well, Kamitsky. With Martin Murray on the floor back in 2009, the first time that they fought, admittedly at middleweight. Let this be a test of what Frank's been learning in the gym. You know, I know he must be working on a head movement. That was always a, a thing that he had to be working on. He's improved in that over the last few fights. And uh, that'll be fully tested today. He's going to have to keep his head moving. Kaminsky will have his successes. He will mount the attacks. He'll put a lot of pressure on Frank and then he'll mount the attacks. So but he only just needs to keep working behind that jab. That's, all, that's, that's good. That's all he needs to keep doing. Golovkin beat Kamitsky in five rounds. I guess a lot of people would say, well, no shock there, because he's a, <laughs> a frightening puncher, isn't he? But not too many people have, uh, have put Kamitsky under that sort of pressure. Well, he's doing a good start from, from Bullion. I think, you know, even under pressure, he's keeping his hands up high, not panicking there. Well, that's pretty good from Kamitsky. A nice tight defence there from Bullion. Interesting opening round. Nice little jab there from Kamitsky. A little faint for Leone needs just but he throws that jab. And Tibbs uh, Jim have been trying to work on the head movement of Bullioni. Let's listen in and see what uh, Mark Tibbs makes of it. He's lost on a little bit side to side. But listen, he lunges in with his own right hand. Yeah, right over top. Yeah, with his left jab. He lunges with his left jab. Right hand, left uppercut. Yeah, short right hand, left uppercut. Yeah, you're taking your feet back. You're going to do nothing. All right. Continue with the sharpness. It'll be even more sharp. Yeah, yeah. Just relax with it. Relax with it. All right. Now, very good. Very good. Jab in his face. He had his moments in the closing stages of that opener, Barry. Did Bullioni do enough to take it?
it's on your card. Yeah, he did. I think he's done enough. Uh, uh, relatively comfortable, I thought, beyond the jab. Well, well, the jab, and when Kamisi put him under pressure, he kept a nice tight defence and took most of the punches on the gloves or the arms. So, yeah, good start from Bullioni. And a little fade there from Bullioni. That's better. She still needs to do it from a little bit further back, though. Don't, don't let Kamisi get too close. I was so surprised if Jamie Moore was watching tonight. This was the last fight that Jamie had, of course, against Kamitsky. Nice little right hand there from Kamitsky just a second ago. Judge is scoring this one. Hand yeah. from Kamitsky. Pulioni just didn't bring the hand back up, did he? Brought it back to the chest, and Kamitsky saw it. He has been timing it to put a few jabs earlier and landed with the right hand. And clipping him with the left hand this time. And Pulioni not having things all his own way in this second. And again, just, just when he stops throwing the jab, isn't it? That's what happens. Kamitsky. Walks in, look, just, just a half a step forward, then come on with an attack. So Bully only just needs to keep him on the outside always, and it's always going that long spearing jab. Kamitsky, for me, having the better of this second round. Yeah, he's just got, he's been able to get close, hasn't he? Landed a few left hooks there. That's more like it. Through the jab with a bit more authority. Good hand speed as well. Just waiting too long to get off there, Fulioni. I know he's, he's expecting Kamitsky to get the counter. Got a little more confidence in the, in the punches. The old fellow giving Bully only plenty to think about in the second. Comes up right hand there from Frank. Nice little combination there as well, the first to run. Swelling underneath that right eye. Yeah, that's testament to the jab, isn't it? When, when Bullion decides to commit with that punch as a potent weapon, he's, and he's used it quite well in different stages. Sort of didn't use it as often as I would like in that round, and Lord Committee there close. And then um, Committee having some good successes. Bullion come on late in the round, but for me, I think Committee just, just shaded that last round. with the sort of uh, sort of face which does mark up that's better from Bullion. I just want to say with Bullion, you know he's established that jab he needs to work off it which is Maybe hook off the jab or feint the jab and then come around with the left hook. Oh, he doesn't need to take shots like that. That's a solid left hand from Kaminsky and a big right hand as well. Yeah, the right hand was the bit was the, the danger punch, wasn't it? Took that flush. Well, we suggested that Kaminsky was dangerous. And Bullioni wanted to keep this one at range, wanted to work off the jab, but his natural instinct 
having felt a couple like that might be to get into the fight and trade he took it well to his credit mind you he didn't panic didn't you know didn't look really unduly hurt you don't want to be taking too many that's a, that's for sure that's that's better for frank let his hands go a solid shot there from iraq on kamitsky push him back with that jab with Bullioni keep Kamitsky on the back foot if he can not really landed the big right hand yet either Bullioni and Bullioni's face also now starting to mark up It'll be a hard fight for Frank Bullioni this one yeah just had to take another big right hand there of Kamitsky just bringing the jab back to the chest so got to come back as fast as he goes out that punch. Okay, right through the guard there. Bully only keeps that right hand up, but it's sort of waving out, isn't it? Not, you know, not tight at the chin. Certainly enjoyed some success with the left hook, Kamitsky. He's looking for it again that time. Bully only did get the hand up to block it. fans at this stage a little bit quiet Again. big right hand he could go back though but he only then took a, took a good right hand and fly back with his own shots Again, just too upright isn't he it's a little bit too upright is, is Frank well, he gave in the second round, Kamitsky, and Bullioni looks as though he's on the receiving end for a fair amount of that. Let's listen into the corner. Anxious times. No, boss. Yeah, you've got to keep him out of that centre the best you can, right? right? But it's got to be long, long. Snap that one, two, through. Yeah, snap it through. Then move your head after, or move your feet. Yeah. yeah? Pinch and dig, pinch and dig. Yeah. yeah? Pinch and dig. One, two, and one, two, and move them feet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Think sharp, sharp and up. Yeah? For fuck's sake. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, you're up for yeah. this, aren't you? You've got to get that jab going. I'm just going to throw right hand is all the time. You chop you down, man. You've got to chop you down. Right. You can't take, keep, keep taking them shots, right? right? Yep. Have a drink. Fast. 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 Speed. You're trying with the counters. I know what you're doing. Get, get, the, long, get the long convincing ones off. Yeah. Please, man. Are you up for this? They're worried. Good left hook there. That Kamiski just faint in the jab and come around with the left hook, and that's that right hand, which is the real danger punch. And it's because Bully only brings that jab back to the chest and not to the chin. Bully only behind on Barry's card now. Is that right hand? Again, that jab got to come. It's got to come back as fast as it goes out. Not fighting with confidence at the moment, Bullioni. What is it against a seasoned pro, isn't he? With a lot of, a lot of good movement, as Kaminsky when he comes forward, dips that right shoulder well before the left hook. That's more like it. That's a good right hand. Lovely shot there from Bullioni. And he wants to hold on. Look, that's uh, had some effect. Kamiski's clever, he just wanted to break the rhythm there to Bully only hold on for the referee to break him up. He starts back in the centre the ring and just has to continue on the ropes. Well, I said before it started, Barry, that this was a learning fight for Bully only, and if he comes through it, he will certainly be a better man for the experience. There's a lot of fighting to be done first, though. Well, it was a massive step up for, for Bully only to take, but the right step. He's, a, he's, a, he's at this level now where he can step up to this. To a guy like, like Kaminsky, and, and you know, and it's been early days, and he's having a better round for me in round four. Good right hand there again from Bullioni, just relaxing a bit more, letting his hands go. Some good lateral movement there, also.
looking more like it in this fourth round. Yeah, he's boxing much better, isn't he? Relaxed a little bit more, a little bit more urgency in his work as well. A little more snap in his shots. Kind of the stage of Frank Bullioni's career. He's now in his 13th pro fight when he has to move on. This is a fight which, in a lot of ways, is going to show if he is the real deal. Well, this is that step up fight, isn't it? When you know it, you know what he's all about. That, and, and this is what we're going to see. Good right hand again from Kaminsky. He's had so much success with that. He had, but he only threw a punch back straight away, and that's a good. That's good. As soon as he got hit with the right hand, he threw the left hook back. It's certainly turning out to be a decent fight. Close around this, Bullioni on the receiving end in two and three. Yeah, that's a Bullioni run for me. Most definitely. I think he started nice and fast. Didn't really have the weather, too many storms. Got caught with the right hand a couple of times, but for the best part, box well. That's a right hand from Kamitsky. A damaging shot for him through this fight. It's still Frank bringing that left hand low, that's something that you know, he had to really work on. But he was a little bit more relaxed in that round for me, for Leone. Good right hand there, we see. A little bit just getting different angles on the attack as well. Well, there you go, we've got it two rounds apiece at this stage, 38 points each. the fifth of this 10 rounder WBO European super middleweight title at stake Receiving end from right hands and another big one as Kamitsky rolls in so effectively. You've got to keep that left hand up. At the moment, the jabber, supposedly Bullioni, is taking as many as he's delivering. If not more, and the right hand is a hurtful shot. Well, Kaminsky knows that jab's coming back low, and just as soon as he takes a jab himself, he's firing that right hand over the top. That's better from Bullion, he blocked that shot. Just needs to get the rhythm in his work that he had in the last round with, with Bullion. Kaminsky showing some decent defensive work there. Blocking and using his footwork. But at least he's on the back foot. <laughs> That's what Frank wants him on the back foot. Bullioni not imposing his jab as I'm sure Mark Tiggs would have wanted him to. Again, Kaminsky dipping the shoulder well for the left hook, and again another one. Having to dig deep now, Bullioni. Interesting to see who has the better stamina as the fight unfolds. 15 years the junior Frank Bullioni, you'd think it would be him. But Kamitsky is Steve. Oh, that's a big right hand. Really big right hand for Kamitsky, but Bullioni can play the ticket very well and now on the offensive. Bullioni counted well. Steve Lillis picked up on just how strong Kamitsky looked at yesterday's yesterday's weigh-in, and he's showing it in the fight. Oh, 
Good rounds. Big round for Kamitsky. Landed with some big shots there. Sort of bullied. I think he bullied Bully only around the ring. Right, the best part of that round, and that's round, right? Good. Big shot at the end. Nice Bully only took very, very in, well. Yeah. Yeah. Nice companion, just let him go. Yeah. yeah. Right. Start off this round. Solid, solid positive jabs, yeah. yeah? Hard, solid positive jabs, yeah. yeah? Slam the right hand in, suck the you what you do. All right. He's got to bend their knees. Yeah. So soft knees, yeah? Rock and roll. Okay. All right. How'd you feel? Feel good. All right. Good. Oh, nice. I've got wind, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, that's brilliant. Go on, push him back. Yeah, I will do. Keep him out of that centre, man, if you can, yeah? Leans on you, turn him a little bit. Okay. Have a drink. Well, he may feel Sharp, good, so but on our card, halfway stage of the right fight, yeah. he's around behind. Oh, it's a great right hand, right on the button. To, and to Bully on his credit, he took it well. <laughs> he took it very well, but taking too many, that's the problem that he's having here. He needs to have to find confidence behind that jab and try and push Kaminsky back. Into the sixth round of this ten-rounder. It's going to become a stage in a minute where Bullion is going to have to up his work rate and throw more punches. But to me, Kaminsky growing in confidence. Oh, clipped again with a big left hand, and I think he really felt that one. Looked a bit unsteady as he was knocked back into that corner. And these are real anxious times for Frank Bullioni. Kaminsky unloading. And Bullioni's looking disorganized and hurt. Trying to buy a few seconds. Needs to make himself a small target. Standing a little bit too up right there, Bullioni. Shaken. Now he's fighting on instinct. Huge left hook. How did he stay up there? He's gone. He's gone. Has the referee stopped it? Well, he's giving him a standing, a standing count. Corner shot, the corner's pulling him off. Mark Tibbs is pulling him off. Mark Tibbs, I think, has ended it. He's pulled it out of the fight. He said it's all over. Kamitsky has beaten Bullioni. And in his 13th professional fight, it has all gone wrong for the Enfield Golden Boy. And Sergei Kamitsky, the hard man from Belarus, he is the new champion. And a great performance there from Kamitsky. We always knew this was a danger fight for him. It was a right step up for, for Bullioni, but he got caught. A little bit too easy to hit with that right hand over the top. And once he got hit with a few heavy shots in that round, then Kamitsky kept the pressure on. He wasn't going wasn't gonna to relent. And Bullioni did, couldn't make himself a small target. And, and you can't blame Mark Tibbs for wanting to pull his fight around. No, he was, uh, he was shipping huge punishments in that round, and let's watch again how it came. How did he stay up from that? Well, he showed enough courage there for me and enough resistance to stay up. Well, what the referee was playing at, I really don't know. The Swedish referee giving the standing eight count. It should have been stopped. If not there, it should have been stopped there. That's not a standing eight count. That's the time to end the fight. Well, he didn't know. He's, he's all over the place. And he's, he's, he can't, when you can't defend yourself, that's when you stop a fight. He couldn't defend himself there, or so it seemed. Looked like the referee was going to give a standing count. Well, and, and I think that's what it is. Mark Tibb stands up, and I think. Well, he gets up. He, look, you can see. You can see there. You can see. Look at uh, Bullioni and Mark Tibbs up into the corner. Frank wanted to continue. Brave guy. But Mark Tibbs absolutely insisted. No way you're continuing. That's it. It's the right decision. It's a frame for Bullioni, but it's you know, one of those things. It's a setback. He's got beat by a, by a good, experienced guy here. It's a setback. He got, it's, a, it's a rebuilding process. It's not the end of the world. Well, it was supposed to be the learning fight. It's turned out to be a hurtful experience. And I wonder what will be said there. There's going to be a lot of rebuilding required after that. The Bullioni fans are chanting for their man. But in that round there, in that sixth round, he was taking huge punishment. And the corner took a wise move. Kamitsky just taking his gloves off. And he's going to get the belt presented to him. And Frank Bullioni here at the Copper Box Arena. Just disappointment for him. That was certainly not in the script. No, and, you know, and he wasn't. He wasn't all, all, I don't think he was out of his class, to be honest. He just, you know, it's just a few little things here, Frank. It's only a few little things that he doesn't do and does wrong. 
but they, they turn out to be big problems. That's that's all it is. And it's the head move is the biggest the biggest thing. Right. Well, here comes the announcement, which Bullioni fans did not expect to be hearing tonight. Here's Mark Burdis. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute four seconds of the sixth round, Frank Bullioni's corner has retired him. The winner and now the new WBO European Super Middleweight Champion from Minsk in Belarus, Sergei Komitsky! Did well tonight, getting a few boos, which he could do without really. He fought really well, Sergei Komitsky. Came in with a plan, he clearly looked at Frank Bullioni. And he did what was necessary, sporting round of applause for Bullioni. But on the night, very well beaten. Absolutely, John. Kaminsky saying beforehand, I've watched the tapes, he's easy to hit. I'll show you how easy to hit he is. And uh, the Swedish referee, Hook, well, he should have given him the hook before then, shouldn't he? That was a very, very poor referee in this Yeah, he should have stood as he was hurt on the road, so his legs buckled before that. And the referee should have been there, and thankfully, Mark Sims, being a compassionate trainer, he was on there screaming at the referee to stop it, because he would have let him go on and possibly get counted out for 10. And it could have been a lot worse for him, and you know, he would have suffered a knockout loss. But a bad night for him again. Um, two fights running now. We've had house fighters beaten, and both defensive um, frailties have, have shown. Well, we're looking at him there. It's a horrible feeling, that, isn't it? But it, it, in, in some ways, he's kept stepping out of that ring. Uh, he's not being carried out of the ring, if you know what I mean. He could have taken a real beating in there. No question about it. It is definitely better that at least he's able to walk out. But when you see somebody like that who's talented and, and having you know have a loss like that a tough loss like that it was a really tough big step up everybody knew that but it's really going to be tough on him to come back but he'll be all right i think he i think he's got a lot of talent he's got a lot of uh, a lot of things working for him he just has to go back to the gym work on some defensive tactics stop going straight back with his hands down going for feints leaning back and uh, he'll do i think he'll be fine i'll be he'll be all right the last couple of fights he, you know the big problem early in his career his left hand was low and he was getting caught by right hands the last couple of fights that's been a lot better it all emerged again tonight where his, def his defense was poor. You know, it it's a real shame for him, but, you know, winners are made in the gym, and it he's got to come back from it now. And uh, was it the fact that uh, Kaminsky has got a reputation for working out opponents? Yeah. Have a little look at him, and, th and then go to work on him. And, and he, he did an absolute number, and he was hitting him right hand, left hand, wasn't he? he was an open target. Well, there's no question. This, this guy's got a lot of experience. He fought some of... Some of the best fighters uh, in his division, obviously, he has a number of fights. He's uh, you know he's what 29 wins now uh, with, uh, with 11 defeats, and even in the losses you can take stuff from. So you know he's he was st he's, st he's fighting a real big step up here. You know what I mean? He only has 12. He only had 12 fights going in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now he's at 13. Unlucky 13. I mean, we've, got, we've, we've got to give all credit to Kamitsky though, because you know he's been on the road all his career, and I bet he's seen plenty of um, decisions go against him. He's coming tonight. And he's done the job. And while, while we're looking at what Frank was wrong with Frank, it was a great performance from Kamitsky. You know, he said before that Frank wasn't great defensively, and he seemed to prove that tonight, didn't he? Let me tell you, 